welcome to JP Squared. That's our talk show, and today we're going to talk about something that everybody's got, but nobody really needs. Mm, tonsils. That would be a boring <laughs> topic. I also... Do we need those? I don't even know. I don't think so, but you know what? I'm no doctor. Or a dentist. Hmm. Or a tooth expert. The correct answer is pet peeves, yes. as you would know from watching the, right. seeing the title. You've seen the title. Uh, yeah, we all have things that peeve our pets. Um, Some pet peeves are actually pets. Whoa, isn't that crazy? Uh, uh, my family, my little family, just got a puppy. And if you can even believe that, you can wait till the end of this video and see our puppy really quick. Oh, but don't uh, jump there now to watch it. No, sit. Stick around, be patient, stay, and you'll get rewarded with a puppy. Wait, stay. You can see the puppy at the end. But first, you gotta listen through the rest of this video, which is deciding whether each other's pet peeves are legit. Like, that's okay. You can be annoyed about that. Or get over it. So, why don't you start? Sure, I'll tell you some of my... That did nothing to <laughs> help with anything. I should have just used the word there, but nope. That's the signal for pet peeves. Here's something that annoys me, is people that talk too quietly. Hello, my name is Elena Grama. I was born with gills like fish. If you say something and I have to say what, you failed um, at speaking. <laughs> That's just the truth, guys. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> Look, I know people have, some people have a shy personality or whatever. I'm okay with your, if your overall personality is shy or you don't talk a lot. I'm not talking about not talking a lot. I'm talking about when it's time to talk and you have something to say, say it so it can be heard. Like, don't give me this little... Nah, 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 nah. Are you sure so, you just don't got too much earwax? No, I recently got my earwax all cleaned out. <laughs> okay. Like, okay. Even before that, my hearing's good, guys. Like, okay. so it's your fault. <laughs> like, my, I, I hear perfectly fine. If you have something to say... Say it, use some volume. Don't make people say what, because that's annoying. Don't give me the thumbs. I think you need to get over Don't give it. me the thumbs down. This you need to get over. Don't give me the thumbs down. Everybody's got a different voice. People have legit different volumes. I think I say you gotta get over this one. Well, how about the flip side of that, where if I say something to you, me, and with I my, go, with, <laughs> with my loud, loud voice, yeah. if you have to say what to something I said, once again, you failed, turn on your ears, because I speak perfectly loud and clear, so. Listen. <laughs> well, I think you're legit in that. Right? Yeah, that's okay. This isn't like a huge deal, but it really is to me. Uh -oh. it's, uh, it's, uh, it, when cabinets or drawers are just open <laughs> for no real reason. <laughs> you would like me I need like them to be then. closed and neat and put away. Closed and neat and put away. That's um, what doors are intended to be <laughs> is to shut. So, uh... That's legit. Oh, good. Um, oh, wow. I don't follow that very much um, myself, but I can see how that's true. That goes for toilet <laughs> lids. <sighs> that goes for... But you're just going to open them cabinets. again. Yeah, but how nice does your kitchen look if <laughs> cabinets are open? If they're shut, that's how, it's in, that's how the I designer know. intended it. I'm trying to be better. I know you're not talking about me specifically. But well, no, but... You it, reminded me that, yeah, you, I can work you, on that. Yeah, you can work on that. <laughs> okay, well, thanks. I'm glad you agree. <laughs> Next. <laughs> um, one thing I don't like is when someone tells a story that you were part of wrong. They get oh. the details wrong or they over-exaggerate things. And I was there and it's like, but like they'll, they'll tell a story and they'll just be like, oh yeah, and then like someone so said this, and like they they change almost all the words, and and I have good memory, so like I maybe they they'll say like, oh yeah, this person was really mad, and I was there, and they weren't like mad, but when they retell a story, they're like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. and I was like, they weren't doing that, they were just like, they were just kind of, for a point. yeah, gotcha. yeah, tell the story properly. Mm. It's dangerous because they could yeah. they could completely change the right. way something happened. I think that's okay to be upset about. So let, let the person in the gang that has the best memory tell the story. This one's quick and simple to the point. This pet peeves me. Regular Captain Crunch. Why does that even exist? <laughs> Just get the crunch berries or get nothing. What about oops all, only berries? <laughs> <laughs> I think if, if something has the word oops in it, I'm not gonna buy it. It's supposed to be crunch berries. That's the correct cereal to eat. Why would you even get anything else? Totally agree with that one. Uh, Good. It's, yes, it's both. It's always both. If somebody... It's amazing. If you came... <laughs> if somebody has regular Cap'n Crunch with no berries in it, 
they made a mistake. Like, like, oh man, I went to the store. I it's meant a, to get. It's almost like it's a. It was just meant as a punishment. Like you know, yeah, yeah. kids, you've been bad. No berries. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's legit. I I think of that all the time when I see that in stores. Like, like who buys this? Another pet peeve of mine, a bodily thing that that occurs to me is I. I'm ready to go to sleep, and I'm too hungry to sleep. And so now I'm stuck there. Am I gonna get up and go eat something, or am I gonna fall asleep like I want to? And how? And I have to judge: is it is it am I gonna be too miserable and not be able to sleep at all until I get up, or should I just get up now and deal with it before it gets way too late and now I'm now I'm missing out on sleep? Uh, and there's really no what nothing to do about it. Uh, I'll, I'll give the thumbs up. I mean, yeah, it's that happens to me too. I know what you're saying. Like, I think it happens to the best of us. Yeah, we all intend to be full, but when nighttime comes, I'm ready to sleep, and now, and my stomach will just like all of a sudden, oh, I'm hungry now. <laughs> like it's in an instant. Yeah. So there's nothing I can do about it besides just I've learned to just get up that very first moment of I'm too yeah. hungry right now, or I'll just like. I usually do just try to eat one last little thing, you know, a little bit of cereal or peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll, I just try to judge, like, okay, I know I haven't eaten since whenever, right, so right. might as well do it now. So here's the first one that's really only just about me, so it's not, like, something where I'm, like, All blaming right. someone else. Well, good. This is just my own thing that, like, annoys me. So this thing happens to me where, like, if I'm listening to a song in my head, right, just playing a song in my head, for some reason... My brain likes to do this thing where like it'll keep skipping and jumping to the song. So if I'm like on the verse of the song, my brain will just like jump ahead and, and hit the chorus already. Like it'll just keep skipping and it's like stop. And then I gotta like start over and like and, and not let it do that. And I don't know why my brain does that. And it does it also does something similar with reading. When I'm reading a book sometimes, you know, if I'm reading a line, my brain it likes to look at the line underneath and it like read both at the same time. It's really weird. Like I don't like seeing what what's you know what's coming up what's coming up but <laughs> but i can see it my eyes can see like the word like and then he died yeah that you know i i can see that if i'm just on the line above it and it uh -huh. keeps annoying me it's like stop just look at these words don't look at the things underneath hmm. it my brain does it with music sometimes and music, words that's a little odd has that never happened to you because i mean i guess it gets it happens to me i don't play music in my head for myself a lot <laughs> i usually am either playing it in real life or i'm just i'm singing it out loud so i don't skip through Oh, okay. Uh, maybe that just happens to us who really play music a lot in our heads or something. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Um, but could you see it as being annoying or yeah, am I just... That would be annoying. <laughs> so this is peeves me a little. When I am listening to something with my headphones, whether it be a video or music, and people put audio in just one ear but not the other, either on purpose for a song, for emphasis, sometimes is okay, but most of the time it's like distracting like the horns are over here and the drums are over here and it sounds bad i'm not mixing it in my head very well and it's worse on videos because i can tell like oh they just had a, mo a stereo track only in one ear and like the news does it all the time too only in one ear i'm Other giving the thumbs absolutely i mean you're talking to a musical guy and i know exactly what you're talking about I, there's actually one song by this japanese band um, it's an awesome song, but for some reason, just this one particular song, the, the, the sound mixer just wanted to do something different with it. He put all the vocals in one ear, he put the drums and the bass, which should always be dead center, in a different ear. It eventually one day I was like, I don't like this. And I, Deleting the song. No, 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 I didn't delete the song. I, I bounced them into a mono mix. I'm like, I love this song. It's a nice song. But this yeah. is just too stupid. So I, I just split them. I, I mix them. <laughs> you fixed his mistake. I fixed it. I was like, I'm, I don't like hearing right. it like that. So, okay, well, good But for you. you're totally right. That's unacceptable. Now, this might seem really trivial, but I don't like the letter X. Um, specifically because nothing starts with it. And, <laughs> like... It completely ruins any. If you want to make a cool list of, oh, let's let's you know all the animals. Every animal A is for alligator. B, but you get to X. Well, there. Uh, sorry, kids. Um, nothing starts with the xylophone. <laughs> xylophone and X-ray is the only things that start with X. And X-ray does that even count? Because doesn't the X and X-ray stand for something? It stands for something that starts with X, I think. It's like it just makes me. It's annoying. Like you can't even have fun with our alphabet. It's like you know you can't. What about make lists of like oh your favorite food uh -huh. A is for apple B is for X is for nothing like uh, okay. stupid X why doesn't anything start with it well how else are you gonna mark the spot 
You need an X. An X is for marking things. Put an X on the line. Well, I guess my argument isn't so much that I don't like that the X, the letter X exists. I'm mad that they never made more words that start with it. We're not using it. To yeah, its fullest we're not extent. using it. It's it's just stuck in the middle of Word words. Letter. Like yeah. So it just ruins all whenever you want to make a list of letter alphabet. Yeah, you can't alphabetize. You can't make lists. That's fine. I, I you're okay to be upset about that. So you can't. Let's make... start making more words that start with X. Yeah, let's just make up words. Yeah. Z is almost you know. It's getting. It's, it's there too, too, but at least there's yeah. an animal that starts with it yeah, and some yeah. foods. Yeah. There's some stuff. Okay. Okay. So my last one is when pediatricians or daycares or pretty much any place that deals with kids purposely spells something wrong in the name of their establishment. If it's kids care, it's kids with a Z and care with a K. And it's like, you guys are doctors. Do you know how to spell? <laughs> and, uh, and it's usually for alliteration purposes, but it annoys me a lot. Like, uh, the cool kids and the K has a... Course. Cool is with a K. Cool. K is cool, Z's are cool. Z's are cool, but that's not how you spell it, and if I'm gonna bring my child here to be educated, I want them to know how to spell. Um, I'm just barely, I'm gonna actually go down on that one. I don't think that's super important. I'm, I'm it's very close. I can, Learning to spell is not important? It is, I know, but we also have slang, and so they need to know that it, that exists Create too. <laughs> freedom. Sure. I'm gonna start. I, I've never time. seen it backfire in a kid. Like I don't know how to spell it because I remember it being spelled with a Z. And I, well, so that's true. I, I mean, eventually I, the kids learn. Like, <laughs> oh, that's supposed to be cool. That was. I can dumb. understand the frustration of like you know, just you're not cool. It's, guys. it's not cool. Like yeah, it is kind of lame in general. I mean. If you're coming up with daycare names, just spell something wrong. That will be your name. That's how you do it. All right, guys, you've been good. You stuck around. Look, it's a puppy. Isn't she beautiful? My beautiful bride, Kim, needed a puppy, and now we have one. So this is Mira. If you know where that name's from, then bonus points to you. Um, there she is. So thanks for watching. Don't fall off, Mira. Uh, make sure to do whatever it is you do at the end of this video, which is go watch more, right? That's what you do afterwards. A puppy!